Good afternoon. How are you guys all doing? I'm just coming live. I'm making dinner for my family, and I thought I would show you guys um, our stoneware bar pan. And this one is not the large pan bar pan. It's the medium bar pan. Um, and we're going to do roasted root vegetables. Doesn't take anything at all to get this um, put in the oven and ready to go on the table. Um, it's a super easy meal. We're also going to be using the deep covered baker tonight. Um, I'm going to do put pork loin and um, it just takes eight minutes per pound uh, so if you're doing a one pound pork loin you can put it in the microwave eight minutes later you're gonna have a fabulous pork and I know that doesn't sound great in the microwave but in your deep covered baker it really works amazingly so why am I featuring stoneware well in April stoneware is our host special and you can get some of these larger bigger items like the deep covered baker at 60% um, off for the host special or you can get the um, baker set and that includes our rectangle bakers there's three of them so it's pretty pretty great deal so I just wanted to kind of show you stoneware and um, why it's so awesome and then I'll post pictures of the done event. Also wanted to let all of you guys know I am going to be doing a deep covered baker workshop on Saturday afternoon here at my house from 2 to 4. So if you're interested in coming and participating, uh, let me know. Just post it in the comments below and I'll make sure you're invited. So um, here we go. So this is the bar pan that I'm talking about and your stoneware, the um, the more you use it, the darker it looks, and that's what you want it to look like. The first five to six times that you use a piece of stoneware, you want to use something with a really high fat content, content and it will help to make it stick. Um, my pieces of stoneware are old. I can't even tell you how many years I've had them. Some of them are 22 years old or older. But um, we're also going to use the, uh, this is a 7 inch Santoku knife, and the reason I'm using it is because I'm cutting up sweet potatoes, and they're really hard. So I don't know if you guys can see that. And I'm using the large group cutting board, which is my favorite cutting board because it has that groove and it keeps all the juice and stuff in it. So we're just going to go ahead and cut them. And when you have a really good knife in your kitchen, it makes a huge difference in getting um, the job done. And you're much less likely to cut yourself. So all I do is just chunk these. And I'm just chunking the sweet potatoes. I've already chunked um, potatoes and uh, some carrots. So I'm just doing root vegetables tonight. And you could roast any kind of vegetables you want. But when you're roasting them, make sure that you're roasting vegetables that have like the same kind of consistency. Or else add them at different times. I don't know. So it kind of just depends on what you're going for. But this is one sweet potato here, believe it or not. And um, it will make a ton. So I actually do leftovers for lunch, which is really nice. So I just got this completely cut up here. And the reason I chose the Santoku is because when you have something super starchy or, um, or pineapple, it's really sweet and sugary, uh, these little divots in your Santoku knife help whatever it is not stick to the knife like it would to a flat knife. So that's why I chose the Santoku. And that's our professional knife. Okay, so we've got our stuff in here. I use the stainless um, this is the medium size of the stainless steel mixing bowls. Absolutely love these. We actually have two sets because we use them so often. But they have this silicone on the bottom, so you don't have to chase them across the counter. Woohoo! Makes it really nice. And they also have lids that fit really, really tight. So these are really awesome tools. And of course, when you host a show, you can always earn half price items in addition to the host 60% off. So I'm going to put some olive oil in here. Um, when you're looking at your olive oil, you want to look at your cold pressed olive oil um, and your extra virgin olive oil. The different labels tell you when it was pressed. So they press it the first time is your cold pressed extra virgin olive oil and then your your next press is your extra virgin and so on and so forth down the line. So um, that's why it's labeled like that. It tells you how many times those uh, olives have been pressed and where that, that olive oil came from. Then I'm going to use our um, Himalayan sea salt here and our salt and pepper grinder. So we're going to put a little bit of salt on these vegetables. I'm using a scraper. You guys that know me know I have like 10 of these in my kitchen. I love them. I use them constantly. They're always in the dishwasher because I'm um, using them in a lot of times for baking. So I've got my vegetables all mixed up here. You guys see that? Potatoes, sweet potatoes, carrots, all mixed up in there. A little bit of olive oil, and um, we're going to just pour them in the stoneware here. Okay, and then 
reason I love my scrapers, because we're gonna scrape this bowl completely empty. Okay, of the, of the olive oil. All right, so we're just gonna put this like this. I'm gonna stick it in the oven. Um, I'm gonna I'm baking some sugar cookies, so the oven's just at 365 right now, but I'm gonna turn it up closer to 400, um, maybe even 425 uh, when the cookies come out, so that these root vegetables are cooking um, for about an hour at a high temperature. So we're just gonna stick this in here, and um, when it's all done, I'll pull this out and show you how awesome the stoneware works. Your stoneware gives you crispier, flakier crust. It bakes completely evenly. Um, I have a whole slew of stoneware, and I do use them on a regular basis. But I will also show you, um, in the deep covered baker, the uh, pork tenderloin. So just wanted to, or, um, we're going to do that on Saturday, but I'll show you the pictures of what we do tonight. So um, anyhow, if I can help you with anything, if you have questions on anything, questions on stoneware or any product at all that we have, anything that you might want to see demoed live, let me know and I'm happy to show you. Um, anything I can help you with um, to make your life a little bit easier, let me know that too. Thanks and you guys have a great afternoon and evening.